welcome back to Tasha's Cuisine. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have a delicious recipe for you guys. It's how to make sauce mori. Okay, so for those of you who know what bacalao is, it's such a salted fish. If you don't know how to make it, it's gonna be very difficult to cook it right away. So today, I am going to give you the secret on how to cook this fish, okay? For those of you who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe. Taisha's Cuisine is hosted by me and I'm sharing lots of authentic Haitian food recipes here. Um, if you have any suggestions, requests, you can always contact me. And you can also email me at taishacuisine at gmail.com. So guys, let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly how to make the most delicious bacalao sauce mo. I am going to use the Buena Ventura bacalao in this recipe, okay? This is actually one of the best that you could use. Um, so like I mentioned, this is a salted fish. If you think you're going to take it out of the package and cook it right away, it's not possible at all so for this recipe in order for you to cook this to perfection you have to wash it you have to soak this fish and you have to stem it with hot water and boil it so what I'm doing here as you can see I rinse it under cold water to remove the salt and what I'm going to do next is let it soak for at least a good 30 minutes in cold water um, so I did wash it first like I said and then now I'm letting it soak for the second time so I'm going to soak it for the second time and then I am going to boil water as you can see here and after this water is done boiling I am going to um, let it soak in hot water um, so this is the second wash actually and in the second wash I am washing it um, soaking it with lime and now the hot water or the boiling water is ready I am going to let it soak in the boiling water for a good 15 minutes okay so this is very important that you do these steps because if you don't you won't be able to eat this fish and after I soak this in the hot water or the boiling water um, for the second time now I am going to boil water and let it boil for a good 15 minutes to remove all the salt just like you see here okay and once this is done now the bacalao is ready I can start making my sauce now if you skip this step guys forget it you won't be able to eat this fish because it's extremely extremely salty okay so like I said you soak it for at least two times and then you boil water and let it soak in the boiling water for a good 15 minutes and then boil water again and let it boil for a good um, I would say a good 10 to 15 minutes for those of you who have been following my channel you probably know that I love lots of bell peppers in my sauce onions and hot pepper as you can see the bacalao looks good right and it's not salted at all so please be sure you follow what I mentioned in this video okay so now for this recipe I have green bell peppers I have red bell peppers onions and of course I have Jamaican hot pepper um, this is totally optional I like my sauce a little bit spicy so I'm definitely going to add a little bit uh, of hot pepper in it so yes guys um, if you do everything that you see here in this video you are going to have the best um, sauce mori ever okay so now that you're ready let's get started with the sauce I'm using a skillet and once the skillet is nice and hot I add the olive oil and my Haitian apis, which is a blended spice with scallion, garlic, thyme, parsley, um, all the good stuff. I do have another video on that as well. And once I uh, the, the Haitian apis is done frying, I add the bell peppers, the onions, and I'm going to give it a good stir. Now let the onions and the bell peppers soften up nice and well. And once they start looking like this, you can go ahead and add the bacalao okay and uh, if you have any favorite seasonings you can add into that as well uh, my favorite seasonings are Italian seasonings garlic powder and uh, hot pepper I'm using matuk in this recipe 
Um, I don't use uh, a lot of seasonings because my Haitian apis is super delicious. Like I said, I do have another video. When you finish watching this, you, there should be an option to click on it to show you exactly how I prepare my Haitian apis. Because my Haitian apis is delicious, I don't need to add lots of extra seasoning. So what I'm going to use is a matuk. Um, it's extremely delicious. It's hot and spicy. If you don't like hot, I would recommend that you don't try it, okay? And I have garlic powder and Italian seasonings. Once I add all the seasonings, I give it a good stir. I add the tomato paste and water. So now, that's pretty much it. I am going to let this boil for a good 15 minutes. And of course, I added my Jamaican hot pepper. This is not going to make it spicy, it's just for flavor, okay? Um, so now guys, cover it up with the lid and let it boil for 15 minutes. And once it's done, this is how the sauce is looking like. As you can see, it looks delicious and it smells so good in here. I really hope you're going to try this and you will love it. Please inbox me drop a comment let me know if you tried this recipe i'd love to hear from you guys um so i can know if you had a success with this so before i turn off the stove i'm going to taste it of course it's missing a little bit of salt so i go ahead and add a little bit of salt and there you have it guys this recipe is not complicated at all it's delicious um for those of you who love sauce mori what else would you enjoy this with i am going to eat mine with some delicious plantain okay and uh, you can actually enjoy it with potatoes rice vegetable rice anything this is super delicious i loved it everybody loved it guys the kids my husband everybody loved it so if you like so small you definitely give it a try and uh, as usual thanks for watching please share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and i'll see you soon with more videos bye now